What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In the last video, I was finally able to fix the ASC and four wheel drive codes on the Evo. It is now driving to its full potential once again. The only other thing that I needed to do is I wanted to adjust the alignment some more. I've put quite a few hours into this alignment, not having blocks to have it up in the air and having to use jack stands every single time has made this a very, very long process. The car obviously drives just fine, but I want the alignment as perfect as possible. So I'm going to be finishing up that. I'm gonna do a couple of other odds and end things, but the primary focus of this video, Jagger has really been wanting to take a ride in this thing with me. I didn't want to take him out in it until I did know everything was dialed in 100%. For this video, Jagger will get to go for his first ride. Stay tuned. As you can see, I've already got my jack stands and string all laid out. I was actually working on the rear end pretty much all day yesterday. It just tends to be the hardest because you have to adjust camber and toe at the same time. Originally, when I finished the first alignment, it was where I wanted it. I had all four wheels with a few degrees of negative camber. I decided I did not like that. I liked it more for aesthetics because the car rode a little bit lower. The more I thought about it, I would rather sacrifice that over ride quality, not to mention tire wear. You can see I've got my little right angle here and then I've got my level to make sure everything was straight. You put it on it, you can see it's right up against the bottom down there in the center. And then it's also right up against the top. Other side is good too. Still need to finish up the front. Toe should still be fine on all of them. I just added my strings just to make sure everything lined up straight. I needed it for the rears when I was adjusting the camera on those. Cause like I said, you have to do it together. But the only thing that I need to adjust on these front wheels is the camber. You can see down here where it touches on the bottom up here. It does not touch at all. This side honestly is not that bad. The passenger side over here, there is a significant amount. You can see kind of how much space is in there. Other things that I need to do, I've got a car seat coming in the mail. It should be here today to install in the car. We obviously already have other vehicles, so we have other car seats, but I wanted one dedicated to this one. Jagger's over at Grandma and Grandpa's for the day, so hopefully I can get this done. I'm going to start with the passenger side over there, and then once I get that one done, I will start working on the driver's side. Alignment is all done. I ended up only having to do the passenger side over here. Instead of just trying to do it and play a guessing game going back and forth, I used my right angle here. And what I did is made it straight on the wheel. And then I measured the distance from the bottom of the concrete to the top right there. As you can see there, there's just a slight amount of negative camber. After I got that measurement, got the wheel off, I put this up against the rotor and did the exact same thing. Because the car was up in the air and a little bit more of an angle, what I did is just subtracted the first measurement from the second. After I adjusted both of my bolts and pulled it out a little bit. And once it was at the measurement that I liked, I retightened the bolts down, put the wheel back on. It actually came out dang near perfect. And because this front wheel did have so much negative camber, it actually corrected the other side as well. In my mind, I'm still trying to figure out how that works. But for some reason, when I come over here now, this thing actually lines up perfectly as well. I already looked at the rear ones as well. It actually did cave them in just a little bit. But because the fronts have a little bit of negative camber on them, these match perfectly back here also. Super excited about that. I thought I I was gonna have to adjust both, but alignment is complete. Car seat is still not here yet, so I think what I'm gonna do now is kinda just get the car cleaned up. You can see here where there's some nastiness. Get the mud flaps back on here. I had to take them off to do the string alignment. And then once the car seat's here, I'll get it installed.
been a couple of days. Car seat did not show up in the mail on time. It did finally show up right here yesterday evening. I was really excited to take Jagger in the car, so I did take the car seat out of Mama's car and put it in here. I did try to film a little bit of it. I accidentally turned it to time lapse. It was just a short trip. Even though he's already rode in it, he is very excited about his new car seat. Jagger's inside taking a nap right now, so as soon as he wakes up, I'm gonna let him come help me install this thing, and then we're gonna go for a little ride. Ha! Hey guys, my YouTube channel. Are you ready, guys? Let's do it! What do you think? You like it? Yeah. yeah. Jagger is all strapped into his new car seat. He's ready to go for a ride, aren't you, Bubs? Yeah. It got a little bit cold outside, so we did have to put some sweatpants on. And I got it on. Oh, and your jacket on. We're gonna go pick up Pops and go grab something to eat. Daddy, go, go, Daddy, go. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. What, what's up, guys? Yeah, Hanging on tight. Was that fun? That was about 18 pounds in third gear. Was that fast, Bub? Yeah. <laughs> was that fun? Yeah, that was fun. That was so fun. It was so fun. Here we go. You ready? Check out this seat you got. got Show them your car seat that you this, got. This is my new car seat. It's got diesel on it. Got black in. What does the race car sound like when it goes fast? Like that. Like that? You ready to go get some breakfast? Yeah. What are you going to get to eat? I eat, I eat pancakes, guys. You're going to get pancakes? Yeah. It's a good meal. That's a good meal. That was a good meal? Yeah. It was a good breakfast? It's a good breakfast. You ready, Bubs? Just got back from Nini and Pop's house, Grandma and Grandpa. Car seat is really nice. It's nothing special, but here is the brand and the model. If anybody wants to pick one up, I'll leave a link in the description. What I really, really liked about it was this granite color. To me, it looks like the two colors on the interior of the Evo. Black right here matches the black interior, and this gray on the sides matches all the trim. You got game away? Yeah, just so we can film it on the way down there. Yeah. So maybe some riding here. You Can you buckle it? There you go, push. Nice. It's been a few days since me and Jagger went for a ride with Pops. Still haven't got to drive the car much. That's pretty much the only time I've had to drive it is with him and Pops. Hey, do you want to explain why you're wearing a train hat, a train conductor's hat, instead of like your turbo hat like usually? Do you get to go ride on a real Thomas the Train this morning? Yeah, Daddy. Yes, buddy. 
you're gonna go hang out with Travis. It's Friday, I'm done with work for the day, so we're actually gonna cruise over and hang out with one of my friends. Here we go, you ready? the car around for a little while i've spent a long time working on this thing and i have not got to enjoy it not to mention i've got to watch him basically grow up in the process while building this thing so it's fun to watch him enjoy it as well i really hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please hit that like button if you want to see more going on definitely hit that subscribe button and i will catch you guys next time